Hello and welcome to Dentoka Trinity Church's service for Sunday the 14th of February. It's Valentine's Day, it's very cold and icy outside, so I hope you're wrapped up warm with a loved one to enjoy this service for Transfiguration Sunday. The prayers and blessing this morning are taken from the Church of Scotland weekly worship materials and they were written by Dr Mark Calder, the Regional Manager for Scotland and Northern England for Embrace the Middle East. Our opening hymn this morning is Lift Up Your Hearts, We Lift Them Lord to Thee. And now let us pray. Let light shine out of darkness. Creator God, who spoke light into primordial darkness, who speaks and summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting, we gather to you, your faithful yet fragile ones. With the light of the knowledge of God in the face of Jesus Christ, Give us eyes to see and ears to hear. We confess that the light of the gospel, your divine image in Christ and his people, is veiled to us when we pursue the empty promises of our idols. Our daily preoccupations obscure the sacred bonds you created between us, the church, the one household of God. While our projects of self-advancement cause injury to the body of Christ. The sick glow of higher status, greater wealth, worldly recognition distract us from the life-giving Son of Righteousness who gave up his status to make us children and heirs of God. We know that we fall short of his glory every day and name in our hearts those ways in which we have sinned in thought, word, deed and in what we have failed to do. Confident in the righteousness of our Lord and Redeemer, Jesus Christ, lift up our heads in the life-giving knowledge of your forgiveness. Amen. Our reading today is from Mark chapter 9, verses 2 to 9, and it's entitled The Transfiguration. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter, James and John 
and led them up a high mountain where they were alone. As he looked on, a change came over Jesus and his clothes became shining white, whiter than anyone in the world could wash them. Then the three disciples saw Elijah and Moses talking with Jesus. Peter spoke up and said to Jesus, Teacher, how good it is that we are here. We will make three tents, one for you, one for Moses and one for Elijah. He and the others were so frightened that he did not know what to say. Then a cloud appeared and covered them with its shadow, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my own dear son. Listen to him. They took a quick look round, but did not see anyone else. Only Jesus was with them. As they came down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has risen from death. Amen, and may God bless to us this reading from his holy word. We now praise the Lord by singing, You, Lord, are both Lamb and Shepherd. Now our prayers of thanksgiving and intercession. Acknowledging that you dwell beyond our comprehension, worshipped by the universe itself, we thank you for emptying yourself of glory in the person of Jesus Christ and through him illuminating our path back to you. We name your blessings to us. Recalling that you first loved us, give us grateful hearts to receive your blessings. Recalling your goodness to your people through the ages, we turn to you in our need. Knocking on your door again and again, as if to tire you of our knocking, as our Lord commanded. We name the burning desires of our own hearts. Our Lord promised, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. And yet you have drawn our attention to the great lack endured by so many around the world. 
the victims of oppression and injustice in so many countries around the world. Holy One, who wants to be addressed as our loving parent, we acknowledge your kinship ties with the church across the world. We unite our wills with your people in North Korea, Turkey, China, India and Nigeria who are facing persecution for their faith. We, we ask that your kingdom may come here in Scotland as well as in all nations of the world. We unite our wills with your servants in the Middle East such as Embrace the Middle East's Christian Partners, those who have inherited the oldest church communities in the world, and ask that your abundant life be known by them, and through them, by all your children. Until you satisfy us in your fullness, God, enlighten us with the knowledge of Christ that shines in our hearts, and strengthen your people to take up their crosses on dark roads. Owning your promises, we ask that you would fill your people's outstretched hands, that our hands may be turned to your holy work. And we now say the words that Jesus taught us to say in our prayers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. He does not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our final hymn today is Lord, the light of your love is shining. <laughs>
the light of your glory illuminate our path this day and every day, showing us the truth of your presence amid the lies of the unjust kingdoms of this world. Turning to the tasks you have prepared for us and the people you have set us among, make our feet sure and fleet, the bearers of good news. Amen. <laughs>